And now, KITV4 Weather. Aloha, welcome to Weather Now. We have a wind advisory up for the areas around Maui County and the island of Hawaii that took effect earlier this morning, going to last at least through Friday evening with gusts up to 50 miles per hour on the sustained level. We're going to get right around 30. So especially for driving conditions, go a little slower, take a little extra caution and dress accordingly for this very windy weather. But it's also going to make things all very wet too. Widespread shower activity to start off the morning, but on the light scale, it's going to get a little bit more numerous and also potentially heavy heavier as the day progresses, much like a couple of days ago in the overnight to early morning, heavy active weather as far as the last 24 hours as of 2 a.m. this morning, nearly three inches picked up for Mount Waiale Ale, expecting later on this evening for these totals to go up once again. Now, a rain forecast model, which you can track anytime online. Here's that front that's continuing to make its way over the state. This will be the case through at least Friday morning. And then from that time frame, you can already start to see that it breaks apart, moves away from us, and with the winds really keeping everything on the move. It helps with that saturation, helping with the extreme drought conditions too. Surf News Network calling for three to seven and occasional plus for the eastern shores. We are seeing high surf advisory criteria of eight foot faces uh, for the eastern shores across the state, five to eight and occasional plus for the north and could get some stragglers as far as box jellyfish today should end by tomorrow. Still check with lifeguards and for warning signs. Small craft advisory continues for all Hawaiian waters. Gale watch up for isolated areas. So mariners, it is going to be dicey out there in the water. As far as our winds, they continue to kick up. Conditions across the state are going to be fairly comfortable as far as those daytime highs. Not many areas breaking that 80 degree mark with the exception of Barking Sands and Waimea getting up to 82 degrees. A drier morning, a little bit sunnier uh, to start off the day, but we are going to gain quite a bit of cloud coverage, low clouds, shower bearing, and once again at times locally heavy rainfall could come across the state, mainly our windward and Malka areas, but with the strong trades, it is going to carry some of that activity over to our leeward spots as well. Island of Hawaii getting up to 75 for Waimea, 83 for Kailoa Kona, and 71 degrees for the volcanoes area, gusting up to 50 for the Hilo side, and going into the extended forecast, peaking with our winds tomorrow. Also, that's when we're expecting a drier trend continuing throughout the weekend, easing up as far as trade wind speed Sunday through next Thursday.